So for this video, I just wanted to cover some changes to how, well, changes to controls. Um, I've removed the interconnected nature of skiing and lateral jetting and just have completely separated them into two different keys. You now have a ski key, and it truly is a ski key. There's nothing else going on. And you have a lateral jets key, which is the same story. It's just a lateral jets key. The lateral jets have been bound to both uh, thumb buttons for the mice. And I did both just because I figure everybody has a mouse. Most everyone will have a mouse with thumb buttons. And I don't know which they prefer. So you can use either button to do lateral jets. And your right mouse now just it always does standard jets, which is up and lateral jets. The ski keys now, they, they truly they just do skiing. Um, when you turn off your ski key, we're going back to uh, nice, easy stopping where when you're not skiing, you automatically are slowing down. It makes things a lot um, simpler. You don't have to actively be involved with stopping, which, I mean, it was one of those, like, meh. It wasn't a big deal or anything like that. The main issue was that um, lateral jets were just, uh, they were just wonky. And as much as I don't like adding extra keys, adding extra keys is better than having wonky behavior. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to cover those changes because they will be in the next update. And of course, I'll be tossing up another uh, Chasing Infinity video here so at some point because the movement system is, at this point, um, good to go, in my opinion. I just need to finish up the net code changes and life will be golden. Um, Anyhow, if you have any questions or comments, of course, post them on the YouTube comments page or the game forums. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.